Tech. Call us your boy, Tech. I see an icon, a showstopper But they not gonna believe me cause I'm just a Julia So I tell them find a wife and a daughter Tell them that I write songs, not an author Don't tell me that I run, don't bother Alright y'all, it's your boy, Trey So I'm gonna try to keep this as short as I can I got a little story time for y'all today, man And I wasn't even gonna make this, but bro Man, it's, it's crazy So if you haven't heard of like The World Missions Church of God Bro don't go to that church, bro. Like, unless you want to be part of a cult. Like, literally, bro. So, y'all, I, just, I just have to tell y'all the story. If you know about it already, you know. If you don't, I'm finna inform you. So, basically, I met this guy. I was at Walmart one day at night um, getting a few things, a few groceries, some food, man. And I, this guy walked up to me randomly. He, um... Um, Asian dude randomly walked up to me. He said, "He said, do you know about the Mother of God?" I'm like, me just, I'm just like, no, because I was having a really good day. Like I was happy. I was like engaged and everything like that. So I'm like, no, I haven't. He was like, would you, would you want to learn about it? And then he showed me a verse in Genesis one where it says, "It took us seven days to make Earth." Like he tried to insinuate that it was more than one. So I'm like, mmm, you do have a point. Because he showed me a verse. So I'm like, mmm, you do have a point. So I was, um, he was like, would you be interested in a Bible study? And I was like, yeah. So look, this is the first thing. He made it seem like me and him were going to do a Bible study together. But he gave, a, he gave a random guy my number who called me like a few days later. And me and him ended up Bible studying. But yeah, he was like, yes, um, whenever you're available to study, let me know and then he texted me and I told him yeah but I didn't study with him I studied with a different guy like a recruiter type dude bro like bro come on now bro like then me and the guy so me and the guy started studying together basically he was showing me verses that proved it was a mother god so they call the mother of god um Jerusalem the, um Jerusalem in heaven that's what they call the mother of god bro he was showing me like Verses from Revelation, Genesis, um, um, I think Matthew, Matthew maybe, but bro, he, he was just showing me verses that like brainwashed me basically. This is like them brainwashing me, like literally them brainwashing me because he's showing me verses in the Bible, but he's giving it a different meaning. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like he's using his own, he's using his own way of telling me the verses and brainwashing me but it's like I'm not questioning it I'm not ever questioning what he's saying because because it's right there in the Bible and the way he's connecting it it makes sense to me so it makes sense it would make sense to anybody because it's in the Bible you know you can't like you can't argue with that but then we study for a few weeks um I'm really learning a lot. I'm feeling like I'm learning a lot. You know, I'm feeling like I'm learning a lot. I'm getting closer with God is what I'm thinking. And one day he invited me to a Bible study. He invited me to a Bible study and he, um, bro, this is what really got me. He was just, we were talking about the mother of God. Then we talked about weeds and wheat. So he called the churches. He, he called all the other churches besides the church of God weeds because they don't follow the passover the um the sabbath and he calls the church of god wheat because they follow everything that's that's what we were learning and we were learning the mother of god and then one day we had a bible study that talked about do you want to hear the third name of god so well because you know we have the the age um you got jehovah then you got Jesus then he's saying now we're in the age of the Holy Spirit and it's a new name so he took me to a Bible study about that on a Thursday night I remember it a Thursday night and basically the it was everybody I was the only new person there so everybody was staring at me kind of so I was um there and they talked they just they were talking about the new name and stuff and how I said in a verse that when Jesus comes back, it's going to be a new name, not the same name, Jesus. So it's going to be a new name. So it's just, this is going to be in the name of the Holy Spirit is basically what he was saying. So look, 
we had the whole study. They never said the name. They never said the new name. But why would they have the study if they didn't know the new name? And this is where, like, bro, I should have noticed then, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. Like, I'm, y'all, I am an idiot. But, like, after the study, bro, they didn't say the name at all. But then the guy who I've been studying with a few weeks, he's the one who invited me and everything. He was like, I know the name, and I, I'm not going to tell you in our next study. I'm like, I'm like, how do you, they didn't even say the name during the thing. But, bro, they used that, I think that whole study, it was like, bro, it was like so many people. So I'm like, that whole study was to brainwash me even more. It was to recruit me and bring me into the church and make it seem like I don't know anything. I'm like, bro, they were broke. That got me, bro, when they had that study, man. It's crazy, bro. Manipulation is so real, bro, and it's so crazy, bro. Like, oh, my God. So me and him studied the next day, and he told me. So basically, we had a study about, y'all know how Jesus, the son of King David. King David um, started ruling over the kingdom at the age of 30. He ruled over, he ruled it for 40 years, right? He ruled it for 40 years. So Jesus is um Jesus started ministry around 30 and Jesus did it for 3 years but he you know he died so it was 37 years left and for prophecy the prophecies to be fulfilled Jesus would have to come back and do 37 more years of ministry and he said this guy the braille this guy Ong Song Hong <laughs> He said, he told me, he's like, the new name of Jesus is Ong Song Kong. I'm like, Ong Song Kong. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah, he said Ong Song Kong. I'm like, okay. And then, bro, this is crazy. So he told me that. I'm not just saying, I'm, I'm believing him because he showed me so much, so many verses in the Bible and so much information that, like, low-key kind of proved it. But, like, it's his way of doing it, bro, like. So he said Ong Song Kong was born in 1966. He ministered for 37 years and died. And he was the he was the second coming of Jesus. So I'm just thinking nothing of it. I'm just we just keep Bible studying and then one time one day he invited me to um a Saturday service and I go, bro. I was like cuz I was wondering. I was like since it was in like 1966, you like do you have a picture? Of Ong Song Kong, and he said yes, bro. He had a picture of the second coming. I'm like, bro, okay. He showed me, and it was like a, a Korean dude, I think. I, don't, I forgot, bro. I, I'm done with that. But he showed me a Korean dude, man. And it's bro, it's crazy, bro. I went through a whole service, bro. They have a book of songs singing Ong Song Kong. I'm like. But y'all, I'm at this point I'm brainwashed. Like I'm not even thinking nothing of this, man. So this is like, bro, this this is the same day I went to that service. I got baptized, y'all. Yes, I got baptized, y'all. It's it's bad, bro. They they brainwashed brainwashed me so good, man. Like they're telling me all these things. I can't go back to the other church I was going to, or God's not gonna forgive me, type stuff, bro. And bro, I'm just telling y'all, he's feeding me so much information. From the Bible that it's just like, how can I not believe it? So, what got me, man, it was so many black people at the church. And I'm like, wow. Because, y'all, honestly, it was so many black people. I'm like, yes, this feels right. Because, like, it's not predominant. It's not dominated by a race. It's like, it's a good mix. But it was more black people. But it was it was all types of races. And the guy who I've been studying with, he finally me, he finally introduced me to his wife. Bro, she walked in, bro. She was Korean, bro. That's when I knew, bro. His wife was Korean. I'm like, and he white. He white, by the way. His wife is Korean. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. I'm like, that was, that kind of threw me off. And then we did one more study before, like, this was my last study with them ever, bro. We did one more study. And he was like, the guy, it was this other guy with us. He was like, Google, who, what church keep the pa keeps the Passover? And the guy who I've been studying with, he was like, he was like, no, Google lies all the time. I was like, that was kind of iffy to me. I was like, 
Okay, I'm not going to Google it then. But, bro, that's going to be important at the end of the story time. It's going to be important. So, yeah, man, I decided that day, that same day I went to that church, that service, like, it just felt so right that, like, I got baptized, bro, and, like, yeah, I got baptized, bro, and, man, I put, I put on the robe and everything. They were singing while I was getting baptized, and he was just pouring water on me and saying the stuff, man. And it, it felt, it all felt so right, y'all. That's why I was at the, like, the ultimate level was brainwashed, man. And it was crazy, man. And that's just, that scares me and makes me so sad because of all those people at that church that are brainwashed and just, they can't do anything about it, man. It's so scary, man. How they brainwashed me that quick, man. And yeah, and I got baptized and it just felt so right. And I felt really, really good, man. But, like, he showed me all the verses from the Bible. I believed Aung San Kong was Jesus for a little bit. But, y'all, look. This this that same night. Still the same day I got baptized and went to that service. Had that study. He told me not to look on Google. So, I went home. I felt real good. I made some YouTube videos. I got in bed, man. I went to sleep around maybe 10.30ish. So, I'm asleep. Y'all, I swear to God. I swear to God. Like God, bro. Forget Aung San Hong. Dude, bro, no. That's not that's not Jesus. I woke up at 2 a.m. feeling so weird. Like, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't go back to sleep. I'm just, I'm up at 2 a.m. feeling really weird. Like, somebody's talking to me. Like, I'm, I'm feeling something. Like, I'm just feeling a spirit or something, bro. And it's so real. Like, this is, bro. It was telling me, bro, to Google the church of God, bro. Cause the earlier the dude said, don't use Google or YouTube. So I'm, I, I tried to go back to sleep. I didn't want to do it. I just closed my phone. Cause I was finna do it, but I closed my phone and laid down. But I just couldn't go to sleep. Like I couldn't shake what the spirit was telling me, man. Like I just, I just couldn't shake it. So I just, I got on YouTube and I searched it up. And bro, it is so many videos about this church being a cult and i'm just like i'm just sitting there at 2 a.m i'm like what the heck and i'm just on my phone i'm like i'm just like i'm just like what this is so crazy like that's why he wasn't that's why he told me not to use google or youtube because i was gonna find that out and that's just so crazy man and after that man i i told them i I didn't tell them anything. I just blocked all their numbers. Honestly, I just blocked all their numbers and I moved to a different state. I just blocked all their numbers and I moved to a different state, man. And it's just, it's just, it's, it's crazy, man. Just, I blocked all their numbers because I, bro, I was scared at that point. But y'all, that's the realest encounter I've ever, like, that was the strongest encounter I've ever had with God. And it's, and it's insane that God, like, I wasn't even a part of that church for a full day after getting baptized. That God came to me and showed me, like, that. no, that's not it. I'm your God. That's what he told me that night. And, like, that was really powerful for me. Like, thank you, God. Like, that's just insane how he came there for me and saved me, bro. Because, man, and, and y'all made this video because, bro, they came to my house, bro, like. I wasn't home, but they came to my house, man. It's just, bro, no. Like, y'all, I hope you guys don't ever get brainwashed by them, man. Like, I can't believe there's so many people getting manipulated and brainwashed like that at that church. And it's insane, man. And that's, like, really scary. Like, really. But, y'all, man, I'm glad that God came and talked to me that night. After that, man, I just, after I watched a few videos, I'm like, no, I'm done with that. I went back to my, so, because, you know, they don't have church. They had church on Saturday. They don't have it on Sunday. I went back to my old church the next day, literally the same day God talked to me. I went back to church, and I felt good, man. And I just, man, I've been getting deeper in the Bible, reading it every single day. But that's the thing, man. You can't, no, believe in your God, not what somebody tells you, man. You feel me? So, man, God showed me he was my God that night. Because what if 
he wouldn't have talked to me. I would have kept going to that church, and I would have been brainwashed. And like, man, God is, thank you, God. He saved me. So you guys, man, real mission structure guy, no, don't do that. Y'all stay safe out there, man. Hopefully, man. I was just, bro, I'm baffled, man. I just, that just baffled me. How easily I was brainwashed and manipulated. But, man, I just hope I ain't gonna ever see them again. Like, literally, if they, I hope they Because he know where I work at, man. They, it's just weird, bro. He better not come to my job. I mean, you know. But, hey, man, y'all, if y'all got stories like this down below or something, man, let me know, man. I just wanted to get this off my chest for y'all and maybe save somebody from that cult, man. But y'all, man, stay saved out there. Believe me, oh, God, because that's, dang, that man, but see y'all next video.